In this tutorial, you will learn to model a realistic mount from scratch, using as few vertices as possible, while keeping a clean topology. If you haven't seen the previous tutorials where we modeled the eyes and the nose, I've dropped the link in the description below. Feel free to check them out first. Alright, so let's get to work. So now it's time to create the mouth of our character. So we're going to be following the reference image that we got here. So on the edit mode, I would like to select this vertex here, because if we select this one, we're going to be able to move it. So that's why I'm selecting the next, the one next to it. So shift D to duplicate it. And we can drag it down here. Let me just put it, you can press G to move it. Let me just place the screencast keys here. All right, so with that being done here, so we can start the extrusion process. Let's press E to extrude, for example, here, and we can drag this one backward. Extrude for the second time, push back, and continue like this until we finish the mouth edge line. Sparse a little bit up. Extrude again. Push to the left. And continue like this. A little bit down. And we can drag that to the end like this. Here at the top, you can select this vertex, press E, and drag it down like this. You can select them both and push them up. So there we go. So we got the first edge line of the mouth. So for example, here I like to push this part to the left. You can select them both and push them to the left like this. There we go. So we got the first edge. So next step is going to be to extrude it. To create the first frame of the of the mouth. Also here, like to push this part outside. This one a little bit inside. All right. So next, I'd like to select these four vertices. We can press E to extrude them like this. Also here at the front, we can try S Z and try to scale that down to make it flat. Something like that. Same thing here for the bottom. We can select these four vertices press each extrude them and here we can align them better let me just drag them down like this a little bit down here good so next we can select the same vertices and extrude them for the second time we can press e so like this and we can press r to spin it down and we can scale it on the y let's try s y Scale now like this. You can push this part even out. This part inside. Like this. Alright, same thing here for the top lip. You can select these four vertices. And I'd like to extrude them inside here. It's like this one, drag it to the left. Alright, so we got the lip. All we have to do is to fix this side here. So what we can do, we can select this vertex, press E to extrude it. And we can fill these four vertices. One, two, three, four. And finally, we got these four. We can press F to fill them. But we should, we should be having a continuous loop. So let me just revert back. And what we need to do, we can select this vertex, press E to extrude it. Select these two, press F. So now if we select these two, press double Fs. If you try Control R, you're going to be ending up with a continuous loop. And this is what we want. Also, here we can smooth out or take this part a little bit backward like this to make room for the second edge here. All right, so here we have one, two, three. You can just extrude, fill this gap. Let me just get rid of this edge. We can just select it, press X, dissolve it. Just so that we can fix one, two, three, four. Press F again. There we go. So we got continuous loop here. You can just press Ctrl R to see if it's continuous or not. And after that, we can select, let me select the bottom lips, vertices. What actually we can do, we can press Alt to grab the entire part here. And we can try E, Y, and go a little bit inside. You can try to scale it on the X. There we go, so just so that we can 
have it filled. All right, so next we need to connect the, the face with the mouth. So here at the top, let me select these two vertices. We can press E to extrude here. Let me just take this part up. And we can select these four vertices, press F to fill the gap. Same thing here, we can push this one a little bit backward. That is nice. All right, so let's carry on. So here for the bottom, let me select these three vertices. Can extrude them just a little bit like this to prepare for the chin. We're gonna do that later. And let's continue the loop. So I'd like to select this vertex. Or actually we can select these two, press E, extrude up, drag a little bit backward, select these four vertices, press F to fill the gap, and we can continue like this. So here we can press E, press F again, and here we can select these two, press F three times. So now we fill that loop. At this location, I'd like to push this part outside like this. And as a final step, what I'd like to do, I'd like to sharpen the lips. So let me just select the mouth, do right click, shade smooth, and we can press Alt to grab this edge. We can try Shift E, and let's make it sharper. We can press N, jump to the item. So I set the value of the main crease all the way to one. So now we made the edges sharp. So this location here, we need to work on it a little bit. So let me just drag it a little bit sideways here. So I'd like to push this part a little bit inside. Let me just press O to activate the proportion editing tool. And I'd like to push it inside. Just scroll down. Something like that. But also this part here doesn't need to be 100% sharp. So you can just press N. And for the mean crease value, let's set it to 0 0.5. So that looks better. can try to, let me just try to reduce that sharpness even down. Let me just press N here so we can see what we're doing. So I'm going to just push, push it back to zero. So now it looks much more better. If you had fun and if you'd like to learn more about character creation, then you might like the full character creation course over at Udemy that covers character modeling and texturing from scratch, rigging and animation, then exporting our character to Unreal Engine and Unity to build a game with our character and play it on both PC and Android mobile phones. Plus, if you didn't like the course, there is a 3 days money back guarantee. The link is down below in the description. Also to fix this problem here, we can just flip the normals. So on edit mode, we can press A to select all the vertices and can try Shift and N. Now we aren't going to have that dark spot anymore. And there we go, so we created the mouth of our character. In the next tutorial, we're going to bring everything together, the eyes, the nose, and the mouth, and start building the full character face. You can watch the next tutorial right here.